What's going on everyone? I'm James Grage here at the bodybuilding.com gym and today we're gonna to be busting out a chest workout but we're gonna be doing things a little bit different. We're not gonna use any weights, we're not gonna use any machines, we're only gonna use resistance bands. So I'm here with Andy Swanson who works here at bodybuilding.com who's also been a competitive bodybuilder. So someone who's very experienced in the gym, definitely used to coming in and doing bodybuilding style workouts with free weights and machines. But I don't think you've ever done a resistance band only chest workout, right? Never done that before. You know, I've, I've used a band um, in the past for like push-ups, maybe as like an exhaust after a, a core lift, but yeah. never just bands. So. You know, like a lot of people, I think it's, uh, it's hard to picture, how am I gonna do all the different movements that I do in a gym using, you know, machines and cables and free weights and be able to duplicate that only with five different resistance bands. But we're gonna start with some basic exercises. These are some of my favorites. With bands, because you have resistance on every plane, you can get really creative and yep. your imagination is kind of your only limitation here as far as the exercises that you create. The first thing that we're gonna do here is going to be a bit of an incline press. So we're used to getting on, say, an incline bench and doing either incline dumbbells or an incline bar bench. So this is gonna be an anchored exercise. When I say anchored, meaning anchored to a piece yeah. of equipment, maybe it's a pull-up bar, or maybe it's even a door anchor. So Undersun makes a door anchor, you can shut it in the door, and it's got a loop, and you can attach it there and turn any Sweet. door into a gym. So today we're gonna use this uh, squat rack here right as our on. anchor point. So you guys can see the way we anchor these bands, really simple. You just run the band right through itself. What I like to do is get in position, which is gonna be right here, and you can see the band is over the top of my arm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have a tendency to get their elbow in here. We want to avoid this. So it's gonna come right over the top. Yep. And then what I want to do is step away so I feel that tension here at the beginning of the range of motion. Here's my midline, and I'm pressing right to that midline as opposed to out here on the side. Okay. Yeah, get that full extension and get that little bit of a, I don't have a word for it, I say that extra Ah, really make sure that we maximize all three contractions. So here in the press, there's our concentric, that ah, that squeeze, that's our isometric, and then controlling the negative, which is our eccentric. Not only are we training chest here, yeah. but we're training our whole body. Which, uh, from what I felt, it was my lower back. Well, yeah, because Definitely you're having- a lot of strength. You're having to stabilize yep. it, so what it's gonna do is it's going to highlight any weaknesses. How's that feel? Feels good. So keep your elbow up. Keep your elbow up. Okay. Keep your elbow up. Almost think about if you were doing flies, right? Everything would be in line from your chest, your elbow to your hand. And you can see how his body's shaking here. This is not easy. This is a very challenging exercise. We're gonna go up in resistance. Okay. We can go up in resistance using the same band simply by stepping further away. Mm-hmm. Just six inches makes a big difference. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is use a combination of bands. So I could even take the small band, yep. maybe the medium band, and we could do a combination. Or of course, we can just go up. This right here is the heavy band. We could go up to the extra heavy. So sure. I'm gonna have you do this set stepping further away. Kay. So exact same band that you did for 20 reps, we're gonna do for 10 reps. You're gonna increase the resistance. Yeah just by stepping further forward. How, how much harder is that? Yeah. When you start to pre-stretch a band a lot like he did here, you are taking a lot of that variable resistance out. If he did want the variable resistance, what I would do is instead of stretching it more, we would just add in another band and create more resistance that way. You just have lots of flexibility here. You can do it any way that you want especially any way that you feel it. And that's my biggest recommendation is, I can give you good advice of a starting point, but you have to learn your own body. All right, so we're gonna move on to our next exercise. It's a single arm fly. So this, we actually wanna go light. Now we got five different levels of resistance. The, the set of undersun bands come with an extra heavy, a heavy, a medium, a light, and an extra light. So this one is the light. Okay. And I'm, this is where I was, Maybe a little skeptical uh, was the, the cable fly variation of this yeah. because it, it feels like even if it's a free weight dumbbell fly, there's a certain pinch you get that I was unsure if you can get that same 
feeling that, with a that band. peak contraction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you're about to find out. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to anchor it just a little bit higher because I don't want, as we do this fly, I don't want it resting on your arm. So I want that band sitting above our arm. Okay. And we're going to be coming across right at chest height. Okay. We don't want to be up here. We don't want to be down here. So right here. So I want to go a little bit higher for an anchor point. Just like we talked about with our other exercises, you want to start off with tension. I like to take that other hand here, make sure I'm getting a good contraction. And make sure you control that eccentric. Yep. Oh yeah, okay. And then keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, you want to okay. get as far across your body as you can. So that's only two reps, you tell me if you feel it. Oh yeah. It's maximum contraction and that's what I chase. Muscles don't always contract maximally. We can do any of these given movements and it doesn't mean that we're recruiting all of the muscle fibers. And that's our goal is to activate as many of those muscle fibers as possible. And so you should be chasing that peak contraction. You want that feeling. And so this is one of those exercises where you really feel it. I don't know, Andy, do you really feel it? Oh yeah. And I almost think uh, when you're doing a free weight fly, you're not starting in the down position, you know, you kick it up, you're starting yeah. in that up position. There's a tendency to not go to full stretch yep. for a lot of people. They stop early. I mean, right now you're starting in a stretched position. Yep. So I'm really taxing the muscle this way. You want a little bit of tension on the muscle. And so that's exactly what we're doing here, creating that tension at the very beginning of the range of motion. We're gonna move on to exercise number three, which is gonna to move to the floor. People have a tendency to underestimate this exercise <laughs> because it's push-ups. People are like, oh, push-ups, oh, no. you know, they're not that hard. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you do these push-ups with these bands and you start to feel that same kind of stress in the chest that you would in a bench press. Yeah. So starting position, just come down here. You want the band to sit just like that and I come right over my back. You don't want it too high because as you do these push-ups, it's gonna come up here. You don't want that, and you don't wanna get it down here because it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna pop up. So you wanna get it kind of square right across your back. It almost sits there right across your shoulder blades. So that's your starting position. Now for me, I've watched people struggle with this. For me, the easiest way is I go ahead and I press forward and then I come down. If you try to do this like Tyrannosaurus or T-Rex. Yeah, right. you'll fall on your face. Yeah, you're gonna fall right on your chin. So stretch it out, then get into position. Now, we talked about hand position. This is where you wanna get it right across your palms. Don't go too high like that, because again, it's gonna start tweaking on your wrist. So try to get it right down there, close to the base of your palm. And that way, when you get on the floor, you're literally pinching the band between your hand and the floor. We're gonna go to failure. Okay. Then, you're gonna pop back up to your knees, and you're gonna squeeze them out. Oh, okay. And you're gonna alternate. Right arm under, right arm over. Okay. Chest is uh, pretty exhausted now, we'll see how this goes. So that's the extra heavy. We'll see how you feel. There's definitely no shame in dropping down and focusing on good contractions. <sighs> Same thing, look at the peak of the contraction. See how he's shaking? These are hard. Ask yourself the last time you did bench press and your whole body shook. Yeah. See so if you can get full extension. Full extension, full extension. Woo! All right? Yeah, all right. And now here we go. I don't think that was quite 20, but. Whew. Yeah, there you go. Squeeze right to the middle. That was failure right there. Yeah? Oh, man. That was it? That was the wall? That was the wall, for sure. That's why I like that finisher. <laughs> All right, so we got a fourth and final exercise. We're gonna go with a lighter band. This is a low fly. So what we wanna do, go with a nice wide anchor point. And that way it's also creating a bit of an angle of pull for us here. And depending on how much resistance you want is gonna determine where you grab the band, how low you grab it. 
we're gonna start here at the top. We're gonna start a little bit wider than hip width and we're gonna come right out in front of us and squeeze to the middle. The key here, keep your chin up and your chest out. If I start rounding my back out here, I don't feel it. And that's where it's gonna shift to my biceps, bicep and my delts. Right so chest out. I'm gonna recommend you go one lighter than this. Okay. All right, so you said grip wide right under So let's go a little wider with the stance. It's open grip. Open, open grip. grip, yep, yep. So now chin up, chest out. Think big chest and then squeeze it up to the middle. Now this is definitely a mind-muscle connection exercise. And what I mean is you have to have the focus and the discipline to put your attention right there into the muscle. The amount of pinch at the top of this motion is pretty crazy. These ones that mimic these cable movements, because I will do this one with cables, mm -hmm. there's like a, a sticking point at the top, but there's a part right before you get to it that you don't feel it as much. Right. You feel it right here, it's really tense, really tense. You're talking about with cables. Light, 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 this is cables, yeah. Light, 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 tense. Right. But with this band, like the amount of pinch through that middle motion that you normally don't feel, yeah. is really tense in the muscles, so. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, anyone who thinks that resistance bands can't create enough resistance or enough mechanical tension to build muscle <sighs> just hasn't tried it yet. They just don't know. Andy. Hey. It's been awesome. It's a great workout, man. I'm glad you got a good workout. Yeah. And uh, it's a lot of fun, so. I'm be sore. We'll see how the rest of the week goes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you guys next video. See ya.